Hey, welcome in. Well, this is just sad. This is just sad. But also, I mean, we're going to make fun of it, sure, but it's sad. Here's the headline. Plus size woman says being fat doesn't mean she has to settle for mediocre men. And, you know, this is partially right because she's going to have to settle for way below mediocre. <laughs> Absolutely. This plus size, what is this? There needs to be, we need to be more specific about this. It doesn't just like anything over, you know, a perfect body can't be plus size, right? Like what plus, you know, what plus a couple of pounds, you know, plus like a, an adult walrus. What, it, what does it mean exactly? You don't get to get away with this. It's like a euphemism now for morbidly obese plus size. You know, it's like uh, I have a normal figure plus Mama Cass. No, you don't. No, you don't get to get away with this. No. And here's the thing that lying is not a kindness. Lying to people is not a kindness. You know, lying to an alcoholic and saying, you know, you've got it all under control is not a kindness. Believe me, I know. So lying to somebody who's, you know, morbidly obese, that isn't a kindness to them. There's all kinds of terrible problems that come along with things like obesity. And here's the thing. If, if you're fine with it, if you're obese and you're fine with it, that, that's fine. Good for you. Great. But just don't expect things from the rest of society. Don't expect people to find you sexy. Okay, just because you love yourself. That's not enough. You don't deserve things just because. Anyway, as I say, this, this isn't a kindness. It's a lie. It's false hopes. You know, doesn't mean she has to settle for mediocre men. Yeah, she has to settle for worse. You know, it's not a kindness. In fact, it's cruel. You know, this isn't yes, queen. You know, it's no queen. That plate of nachos is for the whole table. Just going to interrupt for one second to say, if you like this content, subscribe so you can see more. Thanks a lot. Something has happened to our society where we're all trying to be so nice that we can't just do anything good anymore because we don't want to be the bad guy. Is that what it is? People can't improve themselves if you lie to them. You know, reality and truth are really the greatest gifts that we have. The truth will set you free. Lies will not set you free. Lies are, in this case, a deep fried cage. But anyway, after that rant, let's get on with this. What does it say here? It says a plus size woman has insisted that she won't lower her standards in love and relationships simply because of her size. Now, this should really be rewritten to simply because of her morbid obesity. But anyway, it says this woman uh, worked hard to feel comfortable in her own skin. And while others may judge her appearance, she's confident she deserves more than just a mediocre guy. Good for her. No, bad for her. Why are you encouraging this? Hey, look, if she's happy with her appearance, she's happy with her size. She's happy with diabetes. You know, she's sick of buying, you know, a pair of shoes every every time. She, you know, looking forward to today when she only has to buy one because of the diabetes. Good for her. Just don't tell her she deserves anything. Don't tell her that she deserves more than just a mediocre guy. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she does not. And what is what is a mediocre guy to her? Is that a guy who's, you know, got a few extra pounds? She's not putting up with that. She wants all the pounds on herself. No, he's he's got to be ripped. She doesn't want just one of these uh, mediocre guys. I mean, they're lazy, right? <laughs> okay, so here here's her in a, some sort of a spa. I'm not going to show her face. We're just going to show her body. She's not, this is not healthy. This is not good. This is going to lead to all kinds of health problems. She should be encouraged to get herself into better shape. I mean, if there's anybody in her life who loves her, who genuinely cares about her, they would do that. I mean, women's magazines aren't. They don't care. You know, they don't care what happens to this, uh, this woman. But anyway, let's see. What do they have to say about that? One, uh, she tried everything to lose weight. Well, except for not eating, apparently, because if you don't eat, you will lose weight. That's a fact. That's a scientific fact. Don't you believe the science? Don't you believe the experts? I mean, this is so absurd. You know, she tried everything. She, she tried everything except uh, eating less. Uh, she tried all these diets. Nothing was working and she felt miserable and knew she needed to make a change. No. No, you decided to not make a change, to do nothing and just say, I'm great. Well, congrats. 
Let's see. Just before she was due to get a gastric bypass, she discovered body positivity. Thank God. Thank God she discovered body positivity. It's got positivity in it, right? So you know that it's good. I mean, it can't be bad if it's got positivity in it. Absolutely not. I mean, she's positively fucking huge. And that's a good thing. Let's see. Inspired by the likes of Tess Holiday. She was inspired by Tess Holiday. Let's take a look at Tess. Uh, there she is right there. Uh, do you find that inspiring? Do you find her inspiring? I find that she inspires me to never look at the internet again. Uh, let's continue. Let's see. Moving to New York changed Megan's life. Well, I hear they have great pizza. Uh, let's see. The more she began to love herself, the happier she became. You know, and again, it's fine to love yourself. Go ahead, love yourself. Don't pretend it's the only thing that matters. Other people exist too. Some men seem to think she'll settle for anything, but they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. <laughs> she is regularly messaged by guys on social media where she actively posts selfies and other pictures of herself living her best life. Okay, well, that's all very nice. Let's see. Unfortunately, not all of them are up to par, but seem to think that she owes them something because of her size. Let's see. She says that fat women do not have to settle for any man. We have plenty of amazing options. Too true. Too true. You might say they have a, a, a smorgasbord, a buffet of options. No pun intended. But I mean, honestly, what are we really talking? I mean, high value men are not into obese women. They just aren't. So what are we talking in terms of, you know, relationships? No, they're not. Um, so what are we talking about here? Sadly, we're probably talking about that kind of 3 a.m. after the bars close on a Saturday night. Look over both shoulders before going in the door. And here we have a shot from her Instagram there. So she, I, she, I mean, she's telling us she has lots of amazing options. Why do women's magazines do this? They must know that it's harmful, right? They must know that, you know, they're giving an easy way that's a lie that's going to make a bunch of women miserable. I'm sorry, there's nothing special about just being a woman. You don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything just because you love yourself. This is a terrible message to give to people. It just feels like peak delusion, peak uh, decadence. You know, it's not just about this one. It's, it's about this whole current in our culture that is just lying to everybody constantly. You know, where people who are actually conscientious, people who actually achieve, people who actually should be uh, in, inspiring to the culture, are they're oppressing you somehow. No, and, and you can't have that. So everybody just lie in their filth. And look, I'm not telling you here that when your wife asks if she's fat in these jeans that you have to say yes. I'm just saying that she is. <laughs> that's all. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform, including Spreaker. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.